Hi, what's up? Welcome back. It's Bert. Today, we're going to be talking about a framework that covers how to charge your first client. If you are transitioning from a hobby into income, your side hustle, or starting that new business idea. So let's give ourselves a scenario so that we can better understand how to charge our first clients. Let's say that if you are a photographer, a social media manager, or a nail technician, I want you to choose which service you actually want to uh, provide in which niche you want to go in. So once you have defined your service, then we can move on onto this next process. So now for this next process, you have defined your service as a photographer. Let's go with that one. Now we need to define our our offer because as a photographer I'm sure you have plenty of skills you have a lot of different services but sometimes promoting all those services can be a little bit much so what I want you to do is to actually pick and choose your number one offer that you want to provide for example if you are a photographer right and you do portraits events and weddings out of those three choose the number one service or offer that you want to promote so let's say let's go with portraits all right so now that you have had defined your service as a photographer and your offer as doing portraits now you can get into how much you should be charging your clients and I also want to say this that it's okay to charge your clients cheap at first because I know that it can be intimidating charging at a high price especially if you're not comfortable with it because then you would have a lot harder time pitching it to clients so for now it's okay to charge cheap and that's totally fine but how do we do that Bert well I'm gonna share you how to charge your client. So what we want to do is we want to look at the current minimum wage and compare how much you should be making. Or you can also look at what your competitors, what they are doing and how much they are charging and use that as a ballpark. Either you want to match them just a little bit below them or a little bit higher. So those are two points to think about when you are making your prices through current minimum wage or what your competitors are charging. So let's say that you've done your homework and you decided to settle at $250 per person or per package. And we'll get to the package later on. But for now, let's just say that you charge a person $250 for a package and depending on how many hours. But I let you figure that out. But let's just say, let's just focus on $250. And then now that we have the number down, we can go in to see how does this process work. So now that you have your $250 down, I want you to start off by going into your network, your friends, your families, your community, and start charging them. Charge it at that rate. And as soon as you get that one charge, your first client, oh my gosh, I know it's gonna feel amazing. But here's what I want you to do. Basic business process. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's it. I know, right? Everyone says it. Once you get your first client, $250, repeat it, repeat it. But here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to just get one client and repeat. I want you to book five clients and then repeat that same process because that way you are getting your system down and your process because five people times 250 that's your income that's how much you're going to be making so get five people and repeat that and then once you have that down this is the beautiful part the beautiful part about getting your niche and your services and your offer and your numbers down is that eventually you will start to understand your service, your business. Now we can break down into packages like what I mentioned earlier. So the more you charge, the more clients you have, you can understand, oh my gosh, I actually need to charge this much because then you're going to have to start to think about your overheads. You're actually editing more. You're trying to expand your team. And here's what I want to talk about two things is that when you charge more it's because you understand that your current price is not covering your overhead so it allows you to smartly okay i gotta bump my rate up or the more you charge the more you understand that you need to break up your services into two packages let's just say your first package let's just call it a silver package in this silver package you're charging at 250 dollars for this package and inside this package you get five edited photos but 10 raw photos that are not edited but if you go to my gold package which is the second package that is twelve hundred and fifty dollars you know why because when you were charging your five people with 250 that's 1250 so one package your gold is twelve hundred fifty dollars okay so once you have that down inside that package you will get 10 edited photos but let's just say 15 or 20 raw photos so now when you pitch it to your clients you can say 
hey, hey, let's work together, but I have two packages for $250 or $250. And that is when they can pick and choose. So that's it, my entrepreneurs and business owners. If you're first starting off, practice this framework on how to charge your first client. And when you get comfortable, move on, upscale, charge up your rate, make it higher or more expensive, cheaper, whatever you want to do. But this is a framework that I want you to practice and see how it works for you. 